Welcome back to Nerdle and Plays. We've apparently got more questions for Volfrin. Yes. No. Your head is beginning to spin. You can excuse yourself or keep listening. Listen. Keep um, listening. Th this is important. <laughs> Your fellow exiles' freedom seems to hinge on Volfrin's plan. You ought to consider his every word. So you have other ways to talk about focus on the matters close at hand. Um, no, we're gonna we're gonna stick it out. Damn Volfrin's you. Volfrin's explanations are a lot to take in, though you feel compelled to absorb as much of what he's willing to tell you at this point. He prompts for further questions when Jadario raises her voice again. Hold, you mistook my meaning. I understand your plan. Still, I wish to know. Why us? Why are we, among all the others, chosen chosen for this liberation rite? Liberation rite on a blooded moon at the fall of Soleil, an exile from the prevailing triumvirate shall go free. The anointed champion shall then plunge into the shiver pool and return in glory. Ah, I see. Well, but that is simple, really, madame. You are chosen. You are qualified, I should say, because, as the expression goes, tis what the scribes ordain, though, in this case, the expression is quite literally true. Uh, okay. With the eight created the rites, each of them, each one of them, anointed certain other exiles to participate on their behalf. Exiles who so showed some promise of redemption. The triumvirate that they formed have stood the test of time, replenishing their numbers as their individuals moved on or passed on. You've met them as they are today, the accusers, the withdrawn, and so on. Uh, okay, well... Uh, the different, um, plants? I guess so. The different scribes? Yeah. The eight scribes also formed a special group against which all the others would be judged. Quote, simple explanation. Oh! That group they called the Night Wings. So we're part of the group that everybody else needs to fight anyway. Pretty much. You bear their books wear their masks and rings. You need to show up to the rites, you see. The other erstwhile, the others erstwhile jockey for position for a chance to take you on. Oh, that's why some people hate us. Yeah, well, what if we don't? What if we don't show up? The you would deny yourselves a chance at freedom. Also deny it, and, uh, and also and deny it also to your adversaries. Victory means nothing in the common right. Then participation is all that matters. Not so, Madame. Only the enlightened may regain their freedom. While failure can be an excellent teacher, the scribes do favor the victor. So, you see, those who do not conduct the rites, or do not prevail in them sufficiently, they may find themselves barred from the liberation rites. But these are technicalities. The night winds disbanded years ago. Since then, no one has gone free. It's still the other triumvirate pressed on with fleeting hope that one day you would be back. Wow. Okay. It's been a heavy price to pay in all of this. Now, if you'll excuse me, we'll talk again some other time. No, you'll talk again some other time. Later, right, right. Some murmur to themselves about all this as Wilfred takes his leave. Others return to your paths leading up the mountain and present you with some options. What the fuck was that word? No. Like reconnaissance? Oh. Emperor's Fall. That's like the outskirts of Mount Elodiel's nameless lower summits. We they expect some long lost valuables to be stashed here. Maybe they say it's guys with less whoever goes through here. Down the nameless lower summits beneath Mount Elodiel. Oh God shit, that it, means May. I need to play May eventually. <laughs> God fucking damn it, May. No. Unless you let her go first. No, <laughs> she needs to be enlightened. Which means she needs to win games as May. 
The sublime beauty of Mount Lodiel, along with the thin air and high above the sea, has been enough to silence even the most talkative of your companions. However, May God is positively it, May. bursting with excitement. Isn't it wonderful? I think it really is! Don't you? No. Oh, choo! So does not seem to share May's enthusiasm. <laughs> he does not like the cold. You've been here before, so Isn't that so? Why would you ever leave? I wouldn't leave. I'd stay. I think I'd stay. Unless... Unless maybe you got too cold. Or hungry. Wait, wait, is that? <sighs> Something about her changes, though. <coughs> wait, look, Tizzo! What Tizzo? Can you see? Look, can you see them there? Ah, Cream? Uh, exclaiming something in utter disbelief. <sighs> you yourself see nothing, but May rises almost off her feet and looks on astonished. Was that the scribes? It was! I don't know. I know it was. They said something to me. They spoke to me. They said, they said, they told us we were, we are welcome. That we're welcome here. Fuck. Aww. Maybe off to spread the word among all your companions. Strangely enough, her enthusiasm is infectious, and in spite of everything, your spirits rise. Hey, plus two hope for the Bye next day. <laughs> She's so fucking weird. <laughs> You're um, telling me. First, two paths leading to the summit have expressed a passing whim to see the view from here, and Sir Goodman wishes to look upon the sacred waters here to tend her double sister. Headwind mm. or Sir Sean Gilman. or Sean? Mm. Oh yeah, that's right. Sean did both of those mm. voices. Normal Sean voice or mm. God kill me. <laughs> mm. I, we'll, we'll look at Headwind's passing whim. I have a feeling we'll get it anyway. Here. I'll be back. Unless something goes wrong, I'm still waiting for the other shoe to fall. You and Hedwin walk in silence for some time, so he conducts a customary survey of the Sorry. area. Well, my friend, no sign of howlers, as Jody would say, no sign of anything at all. You said something is troubling him. Oh, that? It's just... I've just been giving lots of thought to everything that Volfritz told us. In another couple of days, one of us will be gone all of a sudden. Or, I don't mean to put it that way. Well, like one of us could go it. free. You're, we earn our way back one by one, as he said. I want you to know something. The others and I, we talked it over, and when the time comes, we want you to decide. Decide who gets to go if anyone... Oh god, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will gladly take that right to uh, take my leave. <laughs> Bye. This might all be a part of Volfrid's plan, but we got here thanks to you, and even though I'm worrying right now about us splitting up, I guess if Volfrid had- Volf- Volfrid. 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 <laughs> Together we will form- Has his way. Volfrid! Oh, God. All of us will meet up on the other side. And won't that be a day? Worst case, we keep failing the, in the rights and be stuck down here together, just like this. What do you mean, keep failing in the rights? We haven't lost a single right battle, Hedwin. God. Yeah, you're the one who hasn't been succeeding yet because you haven't been involved. You walk on in silence for a time. When at last you return to the wagon, Hedwin turns to you again. Thanks for the company. I think I'm better now. Hedwin feels more prepared for the next right. Hope likewise for the best. <laughs> Okay, sweet. Okay. So... Oh, I guess we're just going now. Yeah, oh. I guess. Oh, okay. That's happening. You and your companions gather at Scribes Gate, where it is slowly creaking to open a little bit. That was weird. Where it's single narrow trail to the summit narrows even more and falls under an archway of carved stone. <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm no. gonna request that you get rid of Gilman and uh, Hedwin first. I, neither of them are ready. Come along, now, everyone. Be prepared to speak your mind when you are called. Frankly, most of you still lack enlightenment, but we may pass together. Much how we act is with a single heart and mind during the rites. Well then, lead onward, Tariq. <gasps> Secretaris. Please, follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what? Put that back to where it came from or so help me. You and all the others follow. Oh, hey, a different person. 
When the last of your companions nears the arch, you notice someone standing high above who then appears before you. She eyes the lone minstrel first. Is that you, Tariq? Salutium Seres. It is! Green! Select thing. Um, His eyes opened! No! She watches over Scribe's gate and seems to be connected to the long minstrel and the rites. And how was your rest? Philantase. Gulong, Philanthe. <laughs> I did do this to myself! You did! You enjoy talking to yourself. It seems your work has piled up in the meantime. You bring this many to the gate? Wow. Aye. Then, let us make this quick. She gestures toward the rest of you. Now, each of you, in turn, state who you are and what you seek whilst crossing Scribe's Gate. Do what she says, please, without questioning. The fellow says exchange glances but quickly complies. Sean. <laughs> I'll start. They call me Hedwin the Deserter. I've come here seeking freedom for myself and my companions. In my case, so I can return to be with with one whom I love. Boom, bits and forward, the little minstrel prompts Ruki to speak up next. Hey, uh, I'm regarded by the name Ruki Greentail. I just want to get out of here. I guess with my chums, preferably, go see Mama back home. I am Captain Jadario. I do not truly know as yet what I am seeking here. I- <laughs> Oh! My name is May! Oh, my name is May? And <laughs> I'm here, I think, because the scribes have called to me. It must be them, because if not, then who? Spreak! Tizo seeks to live up to the Nightwing's legacy, and may see the cop involved someday. <laughs> oh. Sir Gilman of the Sea Dominion, at your service, this knight is on a quest to find his honor. He lost it at a certain point. I don't remember oh, who did I this voice, Bailey. Um, it was my bitch voice, wasn't it? Yep. Me the Thane. I'm only here because my sister's here. Then, as Wolfred steps forward, the one called Celeste raises her voice. You. I recognize you from the night wings of the past. You are not clad in the raiments any longer. I would know why. Zimkaratarius. I had my chance already. The night wings that now stand before you, I travel with them as a pilgrim now. I see. Then, state why you are here, as I have the others. Oh. Oh, as happened. My name is Wolfred Sandwood. I seek liberty for each of us, so that one day we all might stand shoulder to shoulder on the other side and bring our freedom to the people there. She waves him by. Then she turns to you, for <laughs> there is no one left to go. Um, <laughs> state um, who you are. I don't fucking remember. I, that's pretty much where I'm at. You are just a crippled scholar. And they learned you knew the old ways, they came for you, and you could not run far. Um, your youth is gone, but you thirst for knowledge earned you a trip to downside nonetheless. Uh, your strike between the Commonwealth and the High Wing Remnants affected, afflicted you since birth. And I'm sure as you might, you cannot make all the details of what life was like in the Commonwealth. You cannot for the life of you recall a time before arriving in the downside. Details of the Commonwealth are scarce within your mind. Perhaps you wanted to forget the place. Someone called Celeste continues to examine you, expecting you to add your response. State also what you truly seek to traverse tribes gate. Um, I just want to see what happens. <laughs> I really want to help my friends. The companions you have met here, you have helped since have, who have helped you to survive and find kinship in the downside. Your priority is to ensure that they achieve their goals. That is all you wish for now. The woman for, regards you for a time, then nods once and waves all of you by. The eight scribes bid the night wings welcome here. Go forth with glory. And Tariq, <coughs> I still left bay. Be on your way as well. Long minstrel bows his head and puts his hat back on. He does not look back at her. 
Yep, he does so without questioning. So. Oh. I guess there was no wrong answer there for me. I think that was literally you building your own backstory. Uh-huh. Okay, so before we continue, we are going to have to conduct the rites. Yeah. Next time on Nerdle Place. Bye. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.